Hi there, this is Kimberly King for Geeks.com. Today, people are constantly on the internet via their cell phone or PDA. While this offers great convenience, sometimes it's easier to have a bigger screen and a keyboard. But what if you don't want to spend four to five hundred dollars for a laptop computer? A new and growing trend in mobile computing is the netbook. What exactly is a netbook? Literally, a netbook is a notebook that's designed to surf the internet. And that's it. They're much smaller, have less computing power, and weigh less than a traditional notebook computer. Because of this, netbooks cost far less, at around $250 to $300, which is one of its selling points. Why buy a netbook? Netbooks were engineered to bridge the gap between laptop computing and PDA cell phone computing. It's for people who are always mobile and want to go online at wireless hotspots like airports or coffee shops without having to carry a bulky laptop and its accessories. They're small enough to be carried like a novel and can even fit inside a large coat pocket. Netbooks provide the portability of a PDA with the computing experience of a normal notebook. For example, if you have to constantly monitor or update blogs or websites like Twitter, Facebook, ESPN, or MSN Money for work or personal reasons, a netbook can keep you connected as long as there's a wired wireless network available. What a netbook is not? Netbooks are not supposed to replace your current desktop or laptop computer. They have enough computing muscle to surf the internet and maybe view and edit a Microsoft Word document. But don't expect a netbook to run Firefox, iTunes, large Excel spreadsheets, and streaming YouTube videos simultaneously. They're designed as a supplement to your workhorse computer. What to look for in a netbook? Because of its low price point, you'll generally get a low power Intel Atom CPU, an 8 to 9 inch LCD screen, 120 to 160 gig hard drive, 1 gig RAM, Wi Fi card, a media card reader, and a 3 cell battery built in webcam, but no CD or DVD drive. If you prefer a larger screen, some netbooks are available in 10, 11, and 12 inch LCD sizes. You can also opt for a solid state drive and SSD hard drive. These new hard drives have no moving parts and read and write information quicker so your netbook performs faster. First generation netbooks had Linux operating system installed. Linux is an open source free operating system that more computer companies are adopting as it lowers cost. Many current generation netbooks come standard with Windows XP Home. These extra options can considerably raise the price a larger screen, an SSD drive, Windows XP Home over Linux, and a bigger battery can push the price of a netbook easily to $350 to $550. For that much money, you could buy a standard 15.4 inch notebook with a more powerful dual core CPU, more RAM, bigger hard drive, bigger keyboard, and more USB ports. You just decide which options are more important to you for portability and price when purchasing a netbook. We hope that this clears up any mystery surrounding netbook versus notebook. Thanks for watching and make it a great day.